So if you saw the video earlier this week, then you'll note that the earnings from the major studios due to actual direct-to-consumer uh, revenues, well, they're nowhere close to profitable. Outside of Netflix, there's not profit to speak of. And in fact, um, well, we have a Hollywood reporter playing catch-up on this story. What's more, for good measure, Bob Backish is actually tamping down. So investors on Wall Street have a finite amount of patience, especially when it comes to streaming. And right now, that patience is running out. Strike that. Retail investors, that patience is completely run out. Direct to consumers, or DTC if you prefer, hasn't paid off yet. It may not actually ever really pay off. Well, at least not anytime soon. And uh, if it does, it's not going to be what it used to be on the linear broadcast side of things. There are more than a few reasons for all of this stuff, but the laziest one that everybody will choose in media is the downward trend in ad revenue, which again, if you saw the video that we did recently this week, you'll see that the <laughs> revenue trends for ads, yeah, they're, they're not good. We called that an adpocalypse in that video. And, you know, for to a large extent, it kind of is. To be fair here, the ad revenue situation, that is exacerbating things. But if all else were equal, it would be kind of just like a hiccup. Because in an, with an established thing, an entity, you, you can weather those minor circumstances. Well, all things aren't equal right now. In fact, so much so that an executive, James Dolan, over at AMC Networks explains very clearly one of the primary problems here. Cord cutting losses are not being made up by streaming game. More people are cutting the cord than are signing up for the streaming services. That seems profound after all of the spin that we've been encountering, but it was something that I think was quite predictable. At least I saw it coming. You probably did too. And this will amount to a hefty amount of layoffs at AMC. Join the club, right? I mean, just look around. Um, you're gonna also see a lot of cost cutting elsewhere for them. And AMC, because of its size, was probably a lot harder hit than most because of their diminutive stature compared to these big boys. Um, you also have to look at the way that their monetization scheme works. They actually talk about that in this article from The Hollywood Reporter. Um, what's interesting is Wall Street was surprised by Dolan's candor here, uh, at least according to the Hollywood Reporter article. I'm not surprised. Uh, I doubt you are if you've been paying attention to me, Valiant Renegade, WW Pro, Midnight's Edge, any of, any of us, right? Um, and I guarantee you that uh, the C-suites at least at the entertainment media, the large companies. Yeah, they're not surprised either. Uh, why would they be? According to Peter Castle, I think I'm saying his name right, um, he's the chairman of the creative media, excuse me. The economics, this is his words, the economics just don't work. In the streaming first world, the content budgets are too high. The revenues that come in are too low in a hyper competitive world where everybody is chasing the same streaming dollar. It's true. Streaming services used to be the bonus that you added on top of your amazing television package through your satellite or cable provider or even over your aerial antenna. It was a luxury item and it was usually somewhat singular. Occasionally, a pay TV network would throw in their streaming as a bonus and I'm looking at obviously HBO and Showtime when I say that. So this whole thing, this whole thing right now is made much, much worse by something that we seem to talk about here a lot and on a lot of the other channels that I've already mentioned, cord cutting. You see, in just the last quarter, 785,000 video subscribers left, cut the cord. Those subscribers left the marketplace completely. And if you compare that to the same quarter last year, 
that's more than 135,000 more. That's insane. 650,000, 785,000. That's a lot. That pace isn't just destructive, it's absolutely devastating. So if we're gonna use AMC as a case study, cause it's kind of like a middle level channel or smaller smaller channel or entity, um, we can evaluate what's going on here a little bit more clearly. They have Their streaming unit hit 11.1 .1 million subscribers there. They still have linear stuff obviously going on there, uh, but 11.1 .1 million, that's where they came up to as of the last quarter. Well, streaming revenue there grew uh, at a pretty good, great clip, an amazing clip, 40% they increased. And that all sounds great, right? But 40% increase in streaming revenue, wahoo! Yeah, except that it's not great because the total net revenue for AMC as a whole dropped by 16% year over year. It's terrible, <laughs> and that's a problem. And this is the difference between the linear customers that are coming from cable, satellite, yada, yada, to your product streaming because they don't all translate. So like I'm gonna say, two things are in play. People cut the cord, people aren't jumping on the stream. That's just the way it is. And that works that same way. It doesn't matter what size you are. Um, you're not getting the same rate of replacement as you are loss, which means your revenue is going to suffer. You make more revenue on the streaming side, but that's not replacing the revenue that you lost on the linear side. It's just that simple. So the economic downturn, of course, is giving everyone, every one of these entities, all these media companies, the opportunity to use it as cover. Macroeconomic headwinds are an excuse to employ a slate of, a whole slate, a full slate of cost-cutting measures. The most logical choice of always, always, uh, is, is normally headcount bodies because they're very expensive. And you often find that, uh, well, you don't need them. They're, they're redundant in a lot of different ways. Now, one person can do the work of what four people are currently doing without a whole lot of sweat. It's always a thing that goes first. You'll find that in most corporations, unless of course, somehow somebody identified a significant amount of waste before they got to the bodies. Doesn't usually happen. Um, after you've get got rid of your head count, right? Then you get rid of some of the luxuries at the lower levels, right? The extra studio, the extra building, you know, so on and so forth. The extra equipment that you have on order that you haven't, you know, you brought in yet, et cetera, et cetera. You just keep building off of that until you get up uh, a certain point, like mid-management. Because rarely, rarely are executives at the top affected by any of this stuff. And if you listen to Paul Chatto from the Call Me Chatto, YouTube uh, channel, which you should. He's awesome and funny. He, he, he calls this out. He did recently over on Midnight's Edge and says, oftentimes when companies are struggling financially, the big wigs still get raises. In fact, sometimes they get bonuses. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. So you're not gonna see a lot more stuff happening at the C-suite level or at the higher levels anyway. A lot of the um, EVPs and stuff that came because of mergers They've already been shaken out of the trees. So a lot of the people that are where they are are somewhat safe. I would say that the prayers being said by Bob Backish, uh, Bob Iger, and David Zoslov are that the ad tier is going to save the day. And I would say that that's probably true of most streaming services. Um, Deloitte uh, it actually seems to indicate this phenomenon will help in a recent market evaluation that they did. Um, they suspect that at least two thirds of consumers, at least in the Western markets, so the, the developed world, whatever. Anyway, um, they will have at least one ad tier service by the end of 2023. Um, I think it's more likely that uh, people are going to start exploring the fast channels that we've been talking about a lot. Um, I think they'll get there more often. I think there's gonna be more offerings. I think almost everybody's gonna have them. Deloitte actually agrees a little bit with that, but they, they don't see fast growing uh, substantially until 2024. I think it's already happening, but hey, what do you think? Do you think I missed something here? I don't think so. We talk about this a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot about this a lot in the comments. Uh, so do you think the studios might be, um, might be uh, too late in reacting to all of this? Do you think they need to be more aggressive in reacting to this recession that we're in? Uh, do you think that the industry needs to be uh, careful about relying on ads and uh, streaming revenues overall? Do you think they need to uh, maybe try to cut enough that they don't have to worry so much about the little hiccups here and there? Um, 
Do you see more fast channels in everybody's household? People just using fast streaming a little bit more often? I think that's quite likely. Um, and do you think that we'll see even more layoffs? Yes, predictably so. In fact, I probably have another video coming up today or tomorrow talking about what's happening over in uh, tech, ad tech and news. There's lots of layoffs. Sorry, that's the way it is. But feel free to utilize the comment section down below. Let me know what you think and I will appreciate that little bit of conversation. Obviously support independent creators out there. I gave you a whole list of amazing ones. You of course have Paul Chato. You, um, you've got uh, well, Midnight's Edge, Midnight's Edge After Dark, Midnight's Edge uh, Espanol. I mean, I can keep going. You also have, um, <laughs> check them out. You also have obviously Valiant Renegade, who I think is great, WDW Pro with all the journalism that's done over there. Um, we're blessed with lots of uh, independent entertainment news. So please support them by subscribing to their channels, hitting the bell for notifications. Be sure that you uh, hit the like button on the videos that you enjoy. Do comment, give suggestions in those comments. I would love to know if there's something that you want to hear uh, about or, or something that I haven't covered uh, recently or whatever. I love that. Put that in the comment section. I know that all the other creators love that as well. And um, of course, share out the content because really that's all about growth. We have to overcome the thing that we're trying to be better than. And the only way to do that is with growth. So sharing out the content works great. And with that, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time... And don't forget to check out my Rumble at rumble.com slash culture casino. And don't forget to check out my Rumble at rumble.com slash culture casino. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.